Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Temple Arts and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the final effects of a design and just finalizing your design and making it the best it could be. So right now this is before I did any effects on it. Um, and then this is after. So you can tell like a really big difference like if you look at the right, the, these sort of effects. And I'm going to teach you guys in this video how to do it, so stay tuned. And I've just moved house so there's going to be a lot more videos because in my old house I literally could not make any videos which is the reason I didn't upload for about a year. Make sure you hit a like down below, hit 25 likes as my channel is quite dead right now. But I'm always active on Twitter guys so if you want to follow me my link is down below. But yeah let's get into this video. Right so we're going to start off, uh, just imagine you finish your design and you want to group it together, control J, control E and then I'm just going to hide these. Click C and then click the top and it'll, all this stuff it will just crop out. This is a client's uh, header that I made, he wanted an anime themed header. So I'm going to duplicate it, I always duplicate it because if I don't like it I can just take it away, it's easier. I literally see nobody using this, like I, I literally did this myself and I just, I don't know, I use it every single design. So I'm giving you away my secret tips that I use to finalise my designs. So make sure you guys hit like down below because because I'm showing you guys some methods that I use. Right, so we want to go to filter and basically everything that we're using is in the filter section. So. We want to go to blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to put it at about 6 or 7, I always use 6 or 7. Very rarely I go to 8, but if we go on screen, it's too much, like you can see it's too much. If we go to lighten, it's just like literally the right amount. And if we already look at the difference, but you don't want to just leave it there, we're going to click this button here, which um, layer masks it. We're going to click control I on the white bit, make sure you're not selected on that, otherwise it will do that. So control I, which inverts it. We're going to get the black, uh, the white brush, click B on your keyboard, and I hold Alt, right click, and I just do this. Or if you don't have a mouse, I can just use the bracket side. So. And you should put on the bits where you want the effect to take place. So I pretty much do it everywhere where there's light. Yeah, it makes sense to put it like that. So as you can see, that's already a difference. I, I absolutely love that. Now we're going to Control E. Make sure they're together, like that. Control J again, we're going to go to filter, make sure you duplicate again. We're going to go to camera roll filter. And every designer uses camera roll filter, if you aren't using it you're really behind. So make sure you learn how to use it, I've been using this for quite a while. So I'm not really going to play much with the temperature or all this stuff. I'm just going to go down to the texture and clarity and I'm just going to change that up a little bit. You can even go down and make a cool effect, but I like going up so it's more, it looks more HD to be honest. When I post about this, it makes it look really low quality. I always put the vibrance down and the saturation up. If I put the vibrance on like minus 8, I always put the saturation like plus 10 or 13. So we go to the FX tab, which will be the grain and the virginin. I don't know how to say that, I probably said that really wrong. But um, you can play around with this, I, didn't, I don't think I did it personally because I have white on it, it doesn't really look good. But yeah, let's go. I'm gonna leave it at zero, but that's just an option for your design. Everyone designs different, so. And also, you can put grain on there if you want. I might put a little bit on there, like eight. I don't really play around with this too much, but if you want to use it for text, I say, then yeah. We'll keep that zero. Again, I don't play around with that. Right, so we're gonna go to sharpen in, and we're gonna put it about 10 or 13. I don't wanna go overboard with it. Alright, click OK, and then boom, that's the. That side done, as you can see, it does a lot. And I'm just going to erase some bits because it's a bit too sharp. So, stuff like that. Right, and I'm going to control J, I'm going to go to filter, I'm going to go to Gaussian blur, and I'm going to put it at 8 this time. I'm going to put it on lighten again, go clip it again, and this time I'm only going to put it on the bottom. Let me see what other blending modes look like play around with it and get the best for your design. I'm going to leave that lightened. So now we're going to duplicate it, control J. We're going to double click on the side. If you double click here, it will change your name. Don't do that. Right, so what we're doing from here is we're not going anywhere else but the blending options tab up here. No, we're going to any styles. We're just going to click the red and green, uh, sorry, the blue and green off, like so. So it leaves the red. I'm also going to do blue, maybe. So don't drag your mouse otherwise look at that it just looks so disgusting but what we are going to do is we're going to click arrows on our keyboard and it does a slight effect i'll probably press it twice or once depending on that yeah so um 
layer mask and we're gonna I don't like it on the text really I like it on this text and I don't really like it on this character and the particles already have RGB on it that done right so now we're gonna go to filter make sure you duplicate again and we're gonna go to filter gallery from here um, there is a filter called plastic wrap that I like using makes a cool effect really I'm just gonna drag it see what it looks like down here also comment some uh, video ideas right we're gonna click OK I like this we're gonna do the uh, layer mask again and we're just gonna do it on the text down here we'll see what it looks like on the mask maybe um, I kind of like that to be honest um, and then we're just gonna do it around here sort of actually we're just gonna do it. see what it looks like on the text text this is all personal preference um, how you design this don't just copy me do your own sort of stuff with it right so now with the final effect duplicate again we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go to blur gallery not blur not Gaussian blur it's different sort of blur so it's called tilt shift or path blur I might use path blur for this or um, yeah tilt shift right so you are like what is this so <laughs> we're just gonna click control H which unhides everything so control H on your keyboard or command H and that should do that and you should click at the point that you uh, don't want blurred or you want it to be the main focus um, the blur I'd probably put a 12 myself there you go I'm just gonna move this up a bit so it doesn't blur too much as you can see if I put it down here the blur up here is really like strong and if I pull it up it's less strong so obviously I want the bottom bit down here to have the most blur I'm going to put the light up down here and as you can see it does that effect that I was talking about again this is all different you guys might not even use this because it's different designs it's different lighting it's different everything now what we're going to do is we are going to play around with the layer styles like um, maybe color burn and then I put it on uh, let me layer mask it quick so it only does the text so I'm just focusing on the text right now so yeah I like that um, and we are done with it basically that's it make sure you also crop it like I said at the start and then you post this on your social media I'll teach you how to do that like um, HD settings click uh, export save for web and then simply put the quality to bibunic then I'd say uh, sharper and that should do that PNG24 down here click save and do whatever if your file is too um, let's say you're doing a thumbnail if it's above two um, if it here says uh, above two so right now mine's above two it would work because it's a header but because it's, if it was a thumbnail YouTube doesn't support anything above two so what you do is you go down to posturize and it does take away some like color but not immensely so we'll do probably like 40 and then if we go to file export say for web it should fix our problem if not you keep going down and down as you can see it's half there <laughs> so yeah that's just a quick tip for you guys if you guys want a, a tutorial on how to make a header from scratch then make sure you hit like down below so share this around with your friends if they want to know some uh, final effects finishing touches to do with their designs so yeah guys this is the end of the video make sure you hit like and subscribe turn the notifications on if you unsubscribe because i wasn't active i'm going to be active again i'm hoping to post once a week or twice a week um once a week for sure hopefully <laughs> yeah guys this has been 10 watts peace out